Hey guys, how's it going? Happy! It's actually Sunday. I'm shooting a couple videos today on Sunday, October 4th because A, it's been forever since I've seen you guys and B, um, because it's been forever and because I'm realizing, holy cow, I can't keep doing a video going, hey, I'll be back, I'll be back. And then it's like three weeks later and you're like, what the hell is going on with Kelly Alexa? So here's the deal. Um, it's Sunday. I mentioned in my last video kind of an update of everything that's going on and there's some significant and massive change and I would almost say instead of change, you know, stuff that I'm adding, it's more stuff that I'm adding. I, I've gotten back into um, blogging at kellyalexa.com. I, I stopped that for about a year, year and a half because I was so focused on the business. But ultimately what I realized is as I started to evaluate my life, and I, I always use this phrase lately, and it's the best thing for me, and I hope that it, it helps put things in context for you guys. I just feel like I'm flipping my life. I'm flipping my health. I'm flipping my fitness. And if you don't know what I mean by that, you know, I'm talking about those shows that I love to watch on HGTV or a and &E about flip this house, right? And I'm obsessed with those shows. But for me, I really feel like that's what I've done with my life in particular um, the past year. I I've done that even more in virtually every area of my life. And that's what has been so extraordinarily successful for me is it's creating amazing results and happiness and a feeling of just excitement and equanimity on the other hand you know excitement is full of energy right equanimity is more contentment and peace um, I feel so much less stress so much less anxiety so much more excitement so much more happiness in you know every area in 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 my work life with fitfluential being able to be more focused uh, more productive less overwhelmed in my fitness life I'm going to go into that specifically in this uh, video um, kind of updating you on my bioidentical hormonal treatment um, very specifically. Um, improvements in my finances, improvements in my social life, improvements uh, in my body, in my workouts, in, in everything. So I feel as though, I said a second ago, all the changes I've been making, a lot of changes, but it's also additions. I've been making new habits, additions of things that I'm uh, incorporating in my life, new practices. and. When new things come into your life, when you allow new things to happen, you almost automatically push away the bad things, the things you don't want anymore. By the way, this is that um, Love Reebok, or I Love Fitness shirt. I can't show you the whole thing, but everybody always asks about my tops in my videos. So this is an old one from Reebok. I don't believe they sell it anymore. But if you go to Reebok.com, Reebok.com, hashtag client of <laughs> FitFluential, you will see a lot of their outstanding um, loving their tops lately. Um, so let me get right to the point. Um, my videos in the future, I've mentioned this before, will be on, and forgive me because I got a little bit off track in my intro here, but they, my videos will be on just a topic. So today I wanted to update you guys on where I'm at about four and a half months in, maybe five, to my bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. And I have to tell you overwhelmingly, number one, I think I've had no less than 50, it ha and I'd have to count, it's probably closer to 75 to 100 women, write me, um, expressing extreme frustration. And this is these are women that are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, all ages, dealing with all kinds of hormonal imbalance. So it, number one, it makes me feel like I'm so glad that I've shared with you what I'm going through so it can help you guys. Um, I'm so glad that so many of you have either found a really outstanding specialist or a lot of you are going to see, in fact, my friend Debbie is flying out to see Dr. Riska in Arizona next week. So I'm really, really happy, you guys, because here's my synopsis, here's my summary. I wish I would have done this four years ago. I wish, 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 I would have trusted my gut earlier when I knew, and I remember saying this to the doctors that I was seeing, I'm like, there's something wrong with me, there's something that isn't right, this isn't just, I'm upset, this isn't just that I'm getting older, and you know, I'm gaining weight around my middle, it's not just like, and that's what a lot of doctors will say to you, it's not, as women particularly, we have to trust our intuition and our gut, and I'm telling you ladies, if you have that feeling, and so many of you that have written to me, 
you'll always start by writing, well, I'm not quite sure if I have something wrong. And then you'll share this litany of side effects. And I read them and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what, for some reason, women tend to feel like we're supposed to write it off. Like it's no big deal. It's cramps. It's that time of the month. It's that you're getting older or something. And we always minimize it and we ignore it. And I got to tell you, don't ignore it. It's not normal to have headaches all the time. It's not normal to have rapid weight gain when you're working out and eating healthy. It's not normal to not be able to sleep. It's not normal to have hot flashes and have your hands and feet cold all the time. It's not normal to have your skin extremely dry and your hair falling out. All of those things are signs of varying degrees of hormonal imbalance. Now, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but as I share with you my recommendation that you look into getting your blood work done, getting your hormones analyzed, and seeing a specialist, I'm not telling you what to do. What I'm telling you is this absolutely changed my life, and I would absolutely recommend it to every single woman that I know, that you get your blood work done, that you see on paper what's going on behind the scenes, because until you do that, you have no idea, you're just guessing. And I was just guessing. I read every book there was on the planet on adrenal fatigue, hypothyroid, um, uh, not probably insulin resistance, which I have, um, but hormonal imbalance, everything you can possibly imagine. And I still had no idea what to do. I still would read this quiz and that quiz and take this quiz and that quiz. Like, are you hypothyroid? Are you hyperthyroid? And everyone said yes. So there were ones that told me I had a hyperthyroid situation and hypothyroid. There were things that told me I had adrenal fatigue and cortisol. This thing would tell me to take vitamin D. This thing would tell me to get less stress. This thing would tell me this. You know what happened? I just got more confused, more stressed, more tired, and more frustrated reading all those books. You know what happened when I got my blood work done? I finally had hope. I finally knew that I was going to be, I, I probably didn't know it at that point, I knew I was on the right track. I knew that there was something significantly wrong and that it could be fixed and that I was putting myself in the right hand. So five months into this, you guys, I have, um, it probably took three months until um, the weight started, as you know. Um, I was losing weight and leaning out, um, being on all of these, um, I hesitate to use the word meds, but let's just use them, all of these, the medications or the treatments or whatever. I, I, again, I don't know the best way to say that. It was about three months in uh, before I really started to see that the area in my core where I had gotten really thick, and that's the common thing that most women will say. They'll say, I feel thick in my stomach. I feel thick in my core. And that's where you start to, you feel like a roll of paper towels, like you're just getting thicker. Like, it, it, that's the best way to describe it. Um, I was losing weight other areas, my legs were leaning out, my, the fat under my arms was, was and, and the bra, you know, over the bra fat in the bottom and the top, that started to lean out. It really wasn't until about month three, and that was frustrating. Um, but I have lost weight, I am losing weight. Um, in fact, today I was joking and I did an Instagram post, I had to throw away a pair of jeans, excuse me, donate a pair of jeans, because they were literally falling off of me. So I've lost weight, um, my sleep has improved, through the roof. I now sleep naturally. I don't take um, Excedrin PM like I used to for the better part of seven years. I used to have to take Excedrin PM every single night to fall asleep. And anybody that knew me would joke like, oh, is it time for you to take Excedrin PM? My battery's running out. I'm going to have to wrap this up. My sleep has dramatically improved. My skin has improved. Um, still dealing with hypothyroid situation. That takes a lot longer to cure. Um, as I do more research on this. Insulin resistance is getting better, it's improving. I'm losing weight and now really starting to see changes in my body, in muscle gains, um, in fat loss. The sleep, like I said, amazing. Level of, of anxiety, tremendously lower. Um, just overall feeling of energy, um, having to get less sleep and having more energy during the day. Overall, it is worth every single penny. I wouldn't think of stopping. I also wouldn't think of stopping any of the lifestyle changes that I've made. This has been something that has taught me so much, changed me so much, transformed me so much. I'm 46 years old and I'm more looking forward to the next chapters of my life 
than I can say I was at age 30. And that's the God's honest truth. So any of you that are thinking that you have issues, you've got to get your blood work done. Feel free to email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I'm happy to point you in the right direction. Again, I'm not a doctor, but I can link you with some, I can certainly link you with mine. I don't make any money from that. Please listen to me and trust your gut. If you know there's something wrong with you, get it taken care of. It will change your whole life.